What's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock guys. So who is in control? Bulls or the bears? This thing? Though gap below 20 days moving average today and using that as an overhead resistance but is it fully bearish or it's back into that structure right so we'll talk about all that in this video we'll get all the confusion out of the way let's talk through the things and let's identify what shall we be expecting from nvidia going into tomorrow what are the levels to watch for intraday or swing and long-term plays all that stuff will be clear to you by the end of this video with that, please also hit the like and subscribe and also note, none of this is any financial advice. It's only for education purposes. I take guarantee of nothing. You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes, okay? So NVIDIA, what it has been doing lately? Well, well, so it is today closed below 20 days moving average. That's in itself quite a big pivotal shift in the price section of NVIDIA. And I talked about in my morning video that it's not uncommon for stocks after breaking below to test the underneath of 20 days moving average. We did that a little bit selling off after that as well. But, and as I say, but let's go to the hourly interval and let's talk through the things. So if you have seen my morning video, this is where stock price was somewhere, right? And we talked about yesterday that if we lose 891 today, expect a downside. It got to one of our levels down here to $877, right? And that's where we saw this wick form. The buying pressure came onto two hourly candles, and that's a sign that we received a confirmation to the upside. And I talked about if today we go above 891, this is what I talked about in my morning video, or $890, that range you can expect continuation to the upside. It can change the structure to the upside, right? So now let me take it to the five minutes interval and look at it. Once we got above this level of 892, 891, we used this as a support and made another leg up. Yes, we did sell off, but you can see we still held that level of 892, 891 throughout the end of the day. And that is acting as a support so far. So is this bullish junior trader you ask, right? Well, so let's talk through it, okay? Let's talk through it. Now, so here's the thing. This structure of 891 has been holding from one, two, three. Today it broke, but it recaptured it, all right? So intraday, this can be also played bullish tomorrow. And let me talk about that, what that would look like. So yes, we are below 20 days moving average. So we have to note that. Let's, let's do one thing here. Let me mark that 20 days moving average where it is right now with this line over here. Okay, it's $900 almost, okay? And yeah, here we go, $900, right? So here's the thing, if tomorrow, well, technically, yeah, it, it is holding 891, even though it's below 200 hours moving average, it's below 20 days moving average, it's below 20 and 50. So it's more bearish. So tomorrow, if we lose the structure of 891 break lower, it's again a downside play and potentially again back to 877. However, if tomorrow we make our way above eight, above $900, or even if we hold the support of 891 and gets above 894, this thing may chop around and try to go up. It's not going to be an easy ride up tomorrow, but yes, if 891 holds tomorrow, it may try to chop up its way to the upside. And then you are watching 200 moving average, because if we get above 200 hours moving average now, above 907, this thing has then broken the structure again to the upside and you can expect then upside coming and we'll talk about what are those levels maybe potentially 947 again but we'll talk about if that happens in the price section tomorrow right now the level to watch is 891 below this is a short play and if it finds the support here you have to see if it's zigzagging it makes it slowly and slowly make its way above and above 809, oh sorry, above $900, it will start to look much more bearish for, sorry, bullish for tomorrow. 
All right, so all in all though, and I'm gonna get rid of this trend, this line now, the 20 days moving average line. And all in all, NVIDIA is still in the downtrend. It's just that this level has been holding strong. So if 891 keeps holding, this could be the start of changing structure again to the upside, like it or not, okay? We have traded upside before here, we have traded downside as well. Now we are at a pivotal point depending on 891, how it holds tomorrow. All right, that's the structure you are watching. What else do we have here on NVIDIA? Let's go to the daily interval. So we are still, well, here's the thing. It's getting more, bears are more in control though, okay? In this current price action sentiment. Now bulls are trying to bring it back bulls are trying to regain the area so we'll see who will win tomorrow now this box down here the 824 is 824 to 850 dollars is the range where bulls and bears will have the final battle to confirm if this becomes the distribution phase for weeks and months it's not going to lose it that easily because it has been holding ground really strong there so until then yeah this bearish engulfing candle is still being acted, acted upon we are still receiving that supply zone up there and we have been selling off and how long has it been since that bearish candle 8th of march and today is 2nd of april so almost we are hovering up here almost for a month guys if anytime nvidia now gets above 924 let's say if it doesn't go lower than 877 make its way higher above 923 this thing will then eventually i think makes new time or new all-time highs as well again so it, yeah it can do that if it wants to right so that's why we are trading with all the technicals we are adapting ourselves with the market as it's you know uh, work its way and but that's that's that with nvidia okay yeah and below 825 or even once we start losing 850 there is just more you know downside room that opens up to the um for the weeks and months in my opinion all right guys that's your nvidia uh let's go to qq and spy as well real quick just i have covered this in other videos but if you missed other videos i haven't seen or just watching nvidia video then you know i'm doing it here as well just talking about it for the price action qq gapped lower uh, did got bought back up for the rest of the day but it's still below 20 days moving average let's see if it tries to fill this gap to the upside that's the only gap left but to me it looks like a distribution phase in the making and losing 433 will be a problem just like nvidia it's very similar structure like nvidia so this is like more than a month of distribution phase here on qq and let's take a look at spy spy is still stronger than qq i'm gonna delete this channel now guys it's just getting in the way so yeah so spy is below that channel and also it has been tested today this 20 days moving average so it regained actually that zone 518 where that prior support was and which it broke today but held support at 20 days moving average and got up of 518 again Let's see if tomorrow it tries to fill this gap. I won't be surprised if it tries to fill this gap tomorrow. And then we'll see if this marks as a distribution phase. But yeah, we got to close that day below 518 to expect any downside and also below 20 days moving average. Then there is a chance. All right. Cool. Good stuff. Guys, that's all for this video. If you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye. And oh, well, it... <laughs> If you need access to my tools, I have two indicators, two trading bots and Wall Street alerts. Links to all of my tools are in the description below. All right, guys, with that, I'll see my next videos. Take care. Bye.